Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Adventures of Jacoby. I'm of course Zack the Winter Warlock with Storm Gaming Alliance for another episode playing our favorite game, Skyrim. Welcome back everyone. The last episode, if you missed it, you should go back and check it out, is a pretty momentous and monumental episode. We finally defeated Mirak, the whole reason we came here to Solstheim. Now you may be wondering, is that it? Is it time to go back home to Lakeview Manor? Is it time to go check on the companions and Lydia and all of these other things, see what's going on in the mainland? Well, the answer is no. What else are we going to get into, though? Well, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are outside home sweet home, Severin Manor. Um, we did not pick up very much from um, Apocrypha. So, yep, our carry weight looks good. We don't have any level ups. So, there are a few things that we have here. We've got this death brand treasure map. We're waiting uh, to figure out something about uh, this Colbjorn Barrow from Rollis. And uh, we've got the resonance gems, the Kagrames trials, um, finding another black book. Uh, so, we've got a few different things to. Uh, to take care of here and i think what we're going to do is we're going to select uh this death brand treasure now as you can see there are no quest markers on the map and that is because we stumbled across the let's see nope that's death brand so let's see if we can find oh let's see what could it be what could it be Handwritten note. Nope. Death brand. Uh, if I remember, it was a miscellaneous. Yes. So we found, let's just zoom in here. We found the treasure up in the top right. So we've got top right, top left, and basically bottom right and bottom left. So let's see. Um, yeah, let's see where we are on the map once we get through an autosave. We have definitely found the um, the treasure that was in the top right. Um, let's just zoom way out. It was up here. Um, yeah, it was up in this general vicinity. So we are, see, down here in Raven Rock. So it looks like we should be able to head south and pick up a piece. But I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to head north up towards probably it's probably going to be somewhere around the water stone if I had to take a guess. Um, so let us begin heading north. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll go out the main way. Um, but yeah, I think what time of day is it? Yes, six thirty in the morning. Okay, cool. So, the world will begin to wake up shortly. With the Aspen threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done. Why, why can I hear you so loudly from so far away? I know I've messed around with the voice audio. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I think um, that we will head up to the northwest first. Then we will go southwest. And then we will go southeast, and then maybe we will then wrap around to. Oh, are these skull hunter? Hunter, cool. Uh, no, just a dead reaver for whatever reason. Okay, um, but yeah, because then we may circle around to locate the black book and tell Mithrin. Now, I'm not entirely sure how one does that. I don't know if um, Neloth, come on, Jacoby, it's not that big of a deal, just jump. Um, I don't know if Neloth is gonna have like quests or prerequisites of something that we're gonna have to do before he gives us um, access to his black book. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't remember, because uh, I do know that you'll get random encounters with with people um yep, abandoned lodge um you will get random encounters with people who point you in the direction of the black books but i had never been pointed in the direction of Telmithrin uh to get one of these black books so that's that's new that is definitely something new to me um 
because usually it'll just be it's sort of akin to like the letters you get letter from a friend you know they point you in a direction um they point you in the direction of a a word of power um that's basically what happens in solstheim here with the black books is uh yeah you'll get random encounters of people uh, letting you know where those black books can be found. Now, I know this to be a Reekling hideout. And what I'm going to try to do, because you can very, very clearly see it's a Reekling hideout, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to go around them. I think all the way out here, even if they did see me just walking, they're not going to, like, attack that brazenly. Um, but let's get back down by the shore... Um, what's this little outpost outcropping here? You guys see that? What? Well, of course you see that. I'm looking right at it. What is this place? There's going to be reeklings in here. Empty. Did I already search this area, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I already messed around with that. Cool. So I'm going to finish making my way down the hill towards the, what is this? The water stone, I believe. Is this the water stone? Yep, the water stone. All right. So I think what we need to do is let's see. There's, so there's some netch down there. So we are... Let me just get zoomed out as far as I can. So this, we might be pretty close. Let's take a look at this um, Death Brand treasure map again. Yeah, so it's like just on an inlet north of, a, of like a stream. So that might be that waterfall maybe. Right here. So I think we have to go... I think we're in the right vicinity. So now, Netch are not typically openly hostile. Hostile. Um, like, you've got to kind of mess with them a little bit to make them angry. Um, or, like, linger around them. Kind of like Horkers, right? Like, Horkers won't just come out of nowhere and just try to kill you. Um, I just want to make sure that it's not actually on this... Yeah, see, the Netches don't really care too much about us being here. But I'm going to stay along the shore. And I'm going to see... Hey, look there. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. What do we have still? Fire breath. Good. I'm being attacked by mud crabs. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Reekling. Take your gold. Reekling Hunter. We'll take your gold. Reekling Scout. We will take your gold. Any chance that these mud crabs... Yep, I was wondering if they're, you know, mud crabs by treasure. It would make sense that they might have a bit of treasure on them. Excellent. So, this. Unlock Ancient Chest Adept. Don't mind if we do. Ooh, we're very close. Okay. A little bit more. There we are. Death Brand Gauntlets. Very cool. What do they do? While dual wielding, your one-handed attacks do 10% more damage for each Death Brand item you wear. So, yet again, another piece of <laughs> another piece of Death Brand stuff that is 100% completely useless to us because we don't dual wield. Um, that takes care of that piece. So, I think from here, we're just going to pretty much head south. I actually have one little thing I want to check out because I always do. And I really hope the Netch don't get angry at me. I promise I mean no one any harm. I simply want to see if there's anything behind the waterfall. That's it. Nope. Okay, there's nothing. I'm moving away from you guys. Don't worry. I'm moving away from you guys. Don't, don't worry. Don't attack me. I've got... We're good. 
Yeah, see, we're good. Oh, shoot. Alright. Quick work of them. But yeah, we're just gonna follow the, uh... We might as well just follow the coastline around, right? Who the heck are you guys? Lysel? Lysel? I don't know. I have no idea who those people are. I'm not going to talk to them, though. <laughs> nope. Not going to talk to them. Look, there's more people. And they're angry. These are werebears. Cool. Uh, we'll take your two gold. And we'll take your half transformed. There we go. You figured it out. Yeah, see, these frickin', these fire wraiths just, I don't know, I don't like them. I don't like them. And if you remember, that is actually the very first, um, if I'm thinking correctly, which I believe I am, that's the first ruin that we entered once we got here to Solstheim. Now... Something that I would like to see is once we get through this auto save. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sometime today, please. Thank you. Miscellaneous death brand map. All right, so there's like a little um, peninsula. So let's see how close we are to that peninsula. Is that this? Or is that? No, that is likely this. Is it? Yeah. So I think it's going to be somewhere down by the Earth Stone then, right? Let's take a look. Yeah. Yep. So we should be actually getting relatively near to the next piece of Deathbrand... of Deathbrand's treasure. Going for a nice little swim. I really wish something that I've always missed in Skyrim is sea monsters. Like, would have been so cool to have more aquatic life, but that's okay. Now, are these guys pirates? What was huh? that? Okay. Where's your partner? Oh, they have a bow. Okay. Reaver Lord. Gold and lockpicks. Missed. Sweet. Piece of cake. Um, the book Death Brand, which we already have. We don't need any of their bone mold armor or any of that stuff. However, I did see... Yeah, see, she was just peppering arrows in here. They've already dug it up for us. How cool is that? So, let's crack it open. Ancient chest. Oh, okay, I thought that moved a little bit over there. Right? It didn't, though, right? Nope, it didn't. Not really. Right there, we're getting somewhere. Perfect. Death brand armor. Increases your stamina by 15 points for each death brand item you wear. Now, that's not terrible. That's, that's, you know, that's, that's not bad. We don't really have any real need for such things, but there's more stamina if we need it. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? Take that, dude. <laughs> cool. Well, there's two pieces. Uh, well, technically three pieces of death brand armor at this point, I, I believe, right? Let's check it out. Death brand armor, death brand gauntlets, and I think we have the death brand boots in our home. So then the last place that we should need to check is um, up on our way to tell Mithrin. However, I'm just going to get back here to Raven Rock proper. 
because I would like to stop back in our home and make sure that I'm not, I, I swear I'm not misremembering, but I just wanna make sure. So let's pop in here real quick. Let's uh, double check on what pieces. I believe we have the helm. I think we have the helm, the gauntlets, and the armor. I think we need the boots because we got Azadol's boots from Colbjorn Barrow. Um, so I don't think we have Deathbrand um, boots. But let's see. None of these guys are wearing boots. None of those guys are wearing boots. So do we have death brand boots in here anywhere? Death of Wanderer, death brand. No. What? Death brand, yeah. But we only have, was there a weapon? Nope. Deathbrand armor, Deathbrand gauntlets. I swore we had the Deathbrand helm. I swear we had the Deathbrand helm. I didn't. No. Did I for some reason like put it in a chest instead? Like a different chest? I swore we had another piece of Deathbrand. Hmm. I am confused. I am confused. Did we never take it? Like, did I just leave it in the chest? Right, because it is just called Death Brand stuff, right? Death Brand gauntlets, Death Brand armor. Search chest. I see... Um... Rings... Ah, oh, there it is. Death Brand Helm. Cool. And we're gonna take Azadol's Boots of Water Walking while we're at it. Um... Uh, maybe I oughta... That's fine, that's fine, that's all good. We don't need his sword or staff, so we can just put that away. We're gonna keep that stuff... Um, we can get rid of that. We're not going to carry around Mirax stuff. I guess we could have put that on a, uh, we could have put that on one of the, th one of the, the, you know what I'm talking about. One of the mannequins. We need that. We'll get rid of these things. I know this is riveting content. I just want to, yeah, that's right. I can't do that one. And okay, cool. So I just wanted to make sure that we did have all that we had, um, which we do. So I think now, nah, you know what? We'll just stay. We'll just stay right in here. But um, I think this is. Uh, yeah, I think this is where we'll leave it off for today. A little bit of a shorter episode, but uh, yeah, we got some treasure. Well, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me here on this episode of The Adventures of Jacoby. Did a little bit of treasure hunting today, which was pretty fun. Uh, a little bit of a break from the, uh, well, I wouldn't say break from the monotony, but you know, we're just treasure hunting now, so that's pretty cool. One piece left to go. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the Storm Gaming Alliance YouTube channel so you can stay up to date and current on all the things going on here on the channel. As always, I am active in the comments, so if you'd like to have a conversation, please feel free to drop down below in the comments and I'd be happy to chat with you. And um, yeah, be sure to check out all the other stuff on the channel. Thanks again for hanging out, and I will see you all on the next episode.